What's up everybody? Shaving stuff. Well, you're looking at it. This is, um, well, most of the stuff that I regularly use. Um, I'm still starting out on the hobby. I would consider it a hobby. It's not a chore for me. It's something I celebrate. And um, so far I uh, switched it up from shaving every third day and every second day. I think I like every second day better. Um, I just I just find it more uh, refreshing than I used to when I was shaving with an electric um, razor. Well, they sucked. So, <clears throat> what you see in front of you is not everything I have. Well, most uh, of this stuff is, as I said, um, something I regularly use. This is not. This is a travel kit that I showed. There is a no-name razor in there. Looks a little bit like a Makua Progress. Um, it's not. It's a nice case though. Blue velvet. Um, chromed razor blade holders and there are some Astra Superior Platinum. This actually is um, a soap holder. This is Palmolive. And this is a bore brush. Um, you can unscrew from this bottom and screw up top here so you have it like that. Um, I do not use this. Um, it's stored away. I use this razor um, but it gives me irritation. It's uh, something about the uh, base plate here being plastic. Um, my skin doesn't react to that very well. So this is not something I use regularly. Uh, what's not something I use regularly is this. This is a Wilkinson Sword um, plastic safety razor. I do not like this at all. Just here uh, to show you. Do not get this. It's really cheap on Amazon. Um, I know, but this is crap. Light as fuck. So, uh, something I kind of store away because I do not use it um, in a day-to-day -day situation um, is my travel kit. My travel kit consists of Arco soap stick, um, a board travel brush from Shaving Factory, this is the X XS uh, size, extra small. Uh, it's a handmade brush and it smells like shit. Even after using it twice and soaking it in soap, in dish soap, in, uh, in alcohol, it still smells like shit. But this is my travel brush, this is what I'm gonna work with. Because this soap stick I'm gonna um, soap up in my face and um, foam it up to build the lather in my face with this. It will work, it just won't be good. Um, was quite cheap, I think around 6 euros. Not gonna spend more on the travel brush, I do not travel frequently. Um, up next is the razor. This is a Gillette three piece razor. This is made out of, I just forgot what the material was called. Also gives me irritation, has a plastic base plate here. It's not Bolteron. I do not remember. Doesn't matter. It's this kind of plastic made in the USA. A, a Gillette. Alright. Three piece razor. Astra SP blades in there. Fits in there really nicely. What would also would fit in there is this Macro 42C. I'm gonna get to that in a minute. But this would also fit in there, but I like to use this regularly. Um, travel razor. Um, also, on my travel, uh, I have a uh, pocket mirror. This is just uh, sanded off because there was glue and paint came off. Doesn't matter. And it can stand. And look at the camera. Hello. Um, uh, also, this is just a sample of Resor aftershave balm. This smells really, really good. Just a sample of that, do not use much of this. And this is something that I absolutely swear by, um, Aseptoman. This is a uh, hand disinfectant, hospital grade, and I use this as an aftershave, high alcohol, and um, it's just wonderful. Um, it, it actually makes 
makes the skin quite soft and it feels very very nice it burns for a second and then it's just pure happiness this is very very good um, this is tra travel sized um, flask I want to say bottle and uh, this is the one I use at home big 500 milliliter um, bottle so this would cover my travel stuff now to the home day-to-day -day stuff um, as you might uh, have noticed I have put a focus on safety razors instead of soaps and creams and aftershaves and brushes only have two brushes and um, I already have three other razors um, coming my way there are they are still in transit and I have two Makua HD 34C models that are currently trying to be refurbished by my grandmother. She has some silver polish and um, they formed a white patina, the nickel plating formed a white patina. I did not get it off with uh, regular household items so gave it to grandma. She's probably has some, she probably has some household tricks up her sleeve, so we'll see how that works out. Um, well, let's start with the razors. We're already six and a half minutes into this video. This is the Makua 42C, 1904 replica model. It's a three-piece razor. Very, very nice. It's quite light. I'm going to show you a little piece of paper uh, where I charted all the uh, weights and lengths of these razors, standard Makua head, wonderful, wonderful shave, medium aggressiveness or mildness, oh, whatever you want. This is a razor from, uh, uh, what's it called? What's this company called? Uh, Maggard. Maggard, I think it's the M2, uh, MR3, MR3B, the MR2 I have, um, ordered. Um, the MR2 is just the same razor, same short fat handle, but with this kind of knurling, you know, this spiral barber pole knurling, and it's all silver. This is uh, from eBay. This cost me around 30 bucks, and uh, I paid for it, well, I paid for it 30 bucks, and there's a blade in there, and it was marketed as a Resor this brand double Z double O um, daddy cool well it's not and it came with some blemishes black paint actually came off a little bit but, but I, I don't worry about it it's a very nice short fat heavy razor feels great in hand um, medium to uh, high medium high aggressiveness I want to say wonderful razor my uh, up to this point, favorite is the Parker 94R. Beautiful, beautiful uh, knurling here, like a diamond uh, pattern, aggressive pattern, sharp edges, nice heaviness, nice weight, and it just feels great. This is rather aggressive. Um, yeah, rather aggressive. I have had the uh, the experience that the three-piece Parker razors um, they do uh, they do have all the same heads and they are on the uh, medium to high aggressiveness level on my chart anyway. And um, this is another, another Parker. I'm gonna get to that in a minute. This is a butterfly construction. This is a medium aggressiveness. So let's uh, talk about the Edwin Jagger 89. Um, uh, BLB or BL, I don't know. Um, straight chrome, very, very nice chrome work. This is a um, medium to mild aggressiveness razor. Wonderful construction, nice balance, slightly longer handle as you can see. Wonderful, wonderful razor. Just feels so great in hand. Very, very nice. Up next is something I haven't used yet. This is a pearl 
uh, razor says here on the bottom and this was marketed as a Resor again this brand arrows um, I bought both of those at the same time this is a beautiful razor has some nice weight open comb um, haven't used it I cannot tell you how aggressive it is but when I had a blade in there it looked quite aggressive um, I'll have to try this one yet this is quite a long handle one very nice around 30 bucks this was around 20 bucks 30 bucks uh, 30 bucks 24 bucks 21 19 to 21 21 so this is the Parker 22R gunmetal gray butterfly twist to open barn door construction very very nice very mechanical looking um, very machine very nice machining uh, great razor great razor um, this part here is kind of sharp and this is where my fingers uh, land naturally so it's not the most comfortable but but I can you know adapt to holding it in another way uh, takes around three and a half to four twists to open and close one two three one two three and a quarter um, very nice construction I just like this color very very cool color scum metal gray very nice and the absolutely heavyweight uh, champion in my collection so far is this Parker 98R um, it, dif it differs from the 99R uh, in that it has a three-piece construction and a completely disassembled head a head that you can completely disassemble um, as opposed to the 99R that has the twist to open construction like this one. This one is really, really heavy. Very heavy barrel, solid base plate. This is a great razor and as aggressive, if not a little bit more aggressive because of the sheer weight um, than this one. This is so cool. I actually played with the thought of getting the twist to open construction as well. Costs 19 to 21 euros. But I figured, uh, well, let's, let's just keep it simple. Get something different instead. Very, very nice razor. So uh, you can see that, I think. You can pause that. This is just a little chart I made up with the sizes, well, the lengths. The weights in grams, 124 grams, 4.4 ounces as opposed to this, the lightest one, 8 point, uh, 6.68 grams, 2.4 ounces, so almost half of this. Just a little chart. Um, up next is what I use to uh, build a lather, that is this one. This is a Edwin Jagger Fast Badger brush, gray badger. Um, not super, super soft. It's me medium soft, but it works very, very nice. It's a small brush, and it came with a stand for around 20 bucks. Um, builds a very, very nice lather. Very nice. Uh, didn't lose a lot of hair, actually. Just single one every third or fourth shave. Um, not a lot, actually. Very, very nice brush. Edwin Jagger, and this is imitation ivory, uh, ebony, apparently. So I use that, and this one I do as well. This is a silver tip, silver spitz um, brush. I do now do not know the brand. This is a vintage German brush, very soft, nicely broken in. I inherited this one. Very, very nice, but look at the sizes. This is a much, much bigger brush. I'm actually looking into getting uh, another brush uh, just for day-to-day -day use. Badger, of course, but uh, the good ones seem to be quite expensive, and uh, I'm really glad what I have with this one. I would love to have one uh, just in between those two sizes as a silver tip, but I cannot spare the cash at this point, so... Uh, those are the brushes that I use and they are fine. Um, uh, I use those two brushes in... 
this stainless steel bowl. I have uh, a cheap Chinese stainless steel double walled bowl coming from China. We'll try this out. Um, so far I haven't came, come across anything that I like better than this. This is a good size, it's not too high. And uh, you can really do big swirls in this. It's, it's nice. Um, this was in my kitchen before. So uh, I used that. Um, for actually shaving, building a lather, I use Arco. Very, very nice. Oh my god. I have to smell it every time I open it. Very, very nice. And actually, um, I have to check back in Turkish supermarkets here in Germany. Um, so far, I've visited three. There's two more uh, that I know of. And one definitely has the Arco soap sticks. Um, but they didn't have it have them in stock and they are supposed to cost just under a euro this one cost two euro and ninety cents two euros and ninety cents on Amazon um, I will stock up on these probably when uh, when I find them cheaper and uh, this is very very nice also um, just the same thing actually um, I actually started out with the palma leaf uh, soap stick that I showed you just before and those two creams. This is one from uh, from a local drugstore, and this is palm leaf for men. Bad, bad shaving cream. This one is even better, and this one costs around euro. This one, euro fifty or something. Uh, bad shaving cream. Dries out really quickly. Doesn't build a consistent thick lather. Uh, it is not a good shaving cream. So those are just sitting in the corner of my uh, bathroom cabinet and what I actually use uh, along with this Arco is Prorazo. This is the eucalyptus and menthol. Just a wonderful, oh my god, wonderful soap. Smells like uh, the, uh, the uh, swimming pool hall in a uh, uh, vacation resort I visited when I was a kid very very nice soap and it actually uh, can stand on your sink on the uh, on the lid very nice absolutely recommended from all the forums if you're into shaving you probably know about this and sometimes I cut it with just a dabble of the shaving cream just a little droplet in there a little bit of the soap and everything in the bowl um, uh, after the shave, what I typically use is this uh, alcohol disinfectant. Actually makes the skin very soft, I, to I told you that. Very, very nice. Oh my god, 18 minutes. Okay, I'm gonna finish now. Um, what I have started using is this alum block. Use it actually once, didn't do much, just had a little tiny nick. So I really couldn't tell if it helped because it stopped bleeding after just just a minute or so. Um, it's nice, costs around five euros uh, on eBay. There's a cheapo, and it seems to be made out of uh, scraps, just pressed together. I don't know, don't care. And what I use as an aftershave balm is either this 4711, the original Kölnisch Wasser Cologne. This is cologne. This is my travel kit actually, I didn't show you that I think. Um, I either use this or Old Spice. Because I'm old school man, totally old school. Old school aftershave or 4711, 47.11, Kölnisch Wasser, Cologne. Uh, you don't have to go uh, expensive. This. Uh, I think I got a 40 euro bottle that is 700 milliliters. Big ass bottle for 40 euros. Really, really cheap. Um, this one is just a small sample. And this is the 250 milliliter Old Spice. This is a much too long video, so I thank you very much if you stuck around until this point. Um, I will give you frequent updates when I get a new order of razors. Um, I probably have those three coming. Well, one will arrive tomorrow, I think. I'm an Amazon Prime member. 
and the other two come from the states so they will probably take some time oh and i have another coming um from china from ebay so uh four new razors probably will do unboxings or just show them to you in just a very very short video this was very ex extensive so again thank you very much for watching my voice is gone and uh, have a good night roll tight y'all oh yeah and uh, just a little addendum i didn't show you the razor blades i'm currently using um, most of the time I use Astro Superior Platinum, but what I have also in use is, where are they, Astro Superior Stainless, so the Astra SS, the SP, and uh, I have some, ah, I just threw all those blades in this tin here. I have some derby blades that I'm that I'm using, some Lord, and a bunch of vintage ones that you can only use once because they are very old and rusted. This is a Gillette uh, seven o'clock. So uh, most of the time, I have around 200 blades of Astro Platinum and uh, Superior Steel. So those are the blades I'm using. Fantastic blades. I haven't tried feather. I do not care to. There's, I get 200 blades from Astra as opposed to 100 from Feather. I do not care about the Derby blades as much. Shark um, Astra is great for me. Uh, two to three shaves until it uh, gets a little uncomfortable. For me at least. Uh, some say they can get out up to six to seven shaves out of it. I do not. I don't know why. It feels uncomfortable after the third shave and uh, I just throw them out after that. So uh, thanks for watching, have a good night, roll tight y'all. And Nivea Soft as a universal face facial cream and of course as an aftershave balm. Very nice cream.